want to talk about the pit bull want to talk about religion pick one the one that comes up the most often for you my son all right so give us an example of why you want to talk about that I want to be able to respond to him all right so what is it what is he presenting what's what is the condition that you are wanting to respond to or that you are responding to his aggression his physical aggression his verbal aggression all right so focus on that aggression for just a moment aggression is a very pointed very powerful and very accurate word so focus on it and now tell us what is the emotion that you feel what does his aggression evoke in you does it make you feel aggressive does it make you feel like you want to control him what emotion happens when you respond to the condition where his aggression is happening yeah I want to control him all right so his aggression is summoning some aggression from you so he set the tone and it doesn't matter how he got there doesn't matter what happened to making him feel that way there he is and now you're responding in kind law of attraction sort of having its way with you mm -hmm. so he's there doesn't matter how he got there but now you're there and so you're having a conditional response and in doing so in that negative emotion that you feel this is the part we really want you to hear you are not feeling the same way that your inner being is feeling about exactly the same moment because your inner being sees his behavior and doesn't feel aggressive back doesn't want to control him back you know what your inner being wants to do love him yeah and your inner being has practiced that so extensively that it's really easy to do and that's what you're gonna start doing too you see you couldn't feel bad about his behavior if your inner being were not feeling so good if your inner being agreed with you then you'd be in sync with your inner being and you'd feel wonderful mm -hmm. But the fact that you don't feel wonderful means there's a tug of war going on between you and your inner being and your source. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk to yourself in a way because what he's doing is really irrelevant. What is relevant is you've got an aggressive vibration that's not matching the love that is within you. You're blaming it on him. But the fact is, the only thing that you can control is the vibration between you and you. Mm -hmm. So you're wanting to talk to yourself in a way that brings you back into alignment. So what might you say to yourself that would soothe that negative emotion within you? It is what it is. That might help. What else? Everything will be fine. That might help. What else? This is a contrasting experience for everyone. That might help. What else? All is well. That might help. What else? Love is here. Now, a lot of this is sort of like blah, 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 blah. And we're not criticizing you. We're just saying that under those conditions, words don't go very far, do they? Not at first. In other words, the little bugger, he needs to shape up and be different. <laughs> So those words are not going very far, but you want to stay with it. So let's say that you say that in the moment and it doesn't shift much in you. But now later you're thinking about it when he's asleep. Mm -hmm. Now he's asleep and you're off on your own. Maybe you're in bed. Maybe you're sitting somewhere where you're comfortable and you've decided that you're going to self soothe about him right now. So he's sleeping right now and it's easy to remember who he really is when he's sleeping it's so easy to love that kid as you're looking at him while he's sleeping it's easy to remember how you felt when he was born and as you do that and you stay there for just a little bit now you'll come into the realization that source has about him too and so now you're in that vibrational pattern of alignment and you're focused upon this subject of this child and now all kinds of things are going to start coming into your mind about how wonderful he is I adore how eager about life he is. I like how clear he is about what he wants. I like how willing he is to get into contrast. And I like thinking about what he's put into his vortex. I like realizing that we had a contract even before any of us were born to have this experience together. I like feeling the power of who he is. And I like thinking about who he will be when he grows up. 
so now you've not only soothed yourself now you've got some true momentum going now you're remembering in fullness who he is and as you're remembering in fullness who he is you won't forget the events of this day but you'll be looking at them differently through the eyes of source now through the eyes of your alignment with source you see and tomorrow the first moment in which you engage with him you will and he will too recognize the shift in you because what he's been responding to is your belief that he needs to be different in order for you to feel better and he is not gonna let you have that he is not gonna be the condition that stands on his head in order for you to misunderstand what your work is what your purpose in life is those people who are so cooperative that you all think everybody should be just like them they're not helping <laughs> they're helping you be lazy in your alignment they're helping you be lazy in your focus they're not causing you to align with your true guidance you see but when someone like that who you love so much who means so much to you can cause so much frequent negative emotion within you this is a powerful gift that he is giving you to give you the opportunity of discovering your true power of alignment you see mm -hmm. so path of least resistance not controlling him he's proving that to you the more you try to control him the more he shows you that you will not you absolutely will not and then it extends out into other experiences as well but when you understand that your path of least resistance not his your path of least resistance is to self-talk yourself into alignment and you succeed tonight and tomorrow night and the next night and the next night and then you start seeing these very strong evidences of the difference in the way he's responding to you and now you're standing and looking at him as a mother not liking what he's doing but loving him so intensely even though you're disagreeing with what he's doing that you're living step five you're showering love all over him while you say hey clean it up you see what we're getting at so I can still what happens to so many of you we'll hear you but what happens to so many of you is you leave your connection with love and then you talk that's what Esther did with the technical person she left her alignment and said you need to shape up you need to make this house a higher priority stop putting me off while you're doing other work get in here and get this done is what she was saying that gets her nowhere Esther could feel she had completely left the rails she had completely left everything that matters to her she had lost the plot she had forgotten who she is for just a moment and she felt the awfulness of it and then when she remembered oh it felt so good to come back into alignment it felt so good to write that note the next conversation felt so wonderful it's about alignment it's about alignment it's about alignment it's about alignment it's not about training someone into a condition that you can live with and will me getting into alignment 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 will provide the clarity of what are consequences for him what are boundaries to set you know because I've got a husband and a mom who lives in the same house who are looking at what are you doing about this child or what are the consequences so the answer is I'm loving him what are you doing about it I'm loving him yeah but I mean what are you doing about it I'm loving him what are you gonna do about this I'm gonna love him what are you gonna do about this I'm gonna love him you need to do something you can't just go off and love him yes I can I'm gonna love him I'm gonna love him until the perfect inspiration occurs to me that's what I'm gonna do mm, okay I'm gonna get so in sync because when I do that when I soothe myself into alignment and I'm receiving impulses from source who knows about law of attraction I'll say the right thing at the right time not only that I will be an influencer for other wonderful things to come to him all kinds of cooperative components I'm not raising this child alone I've got a cadre of non-physical energy helping me along the way and sometimes your children are raising you So what are you gonna do about that I'm gonna love him all right blah 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 you've been to that Abraham thing haven't you blah 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 <laughs> so you're gonna love him meanwhile say to them and I'm gonna love you even though you're out of line right now too <laughs> I'm gonna love him and I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna love you but to do it I got to get away from all of you I'll be back in a while <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
It's no wonder you sat here and offered the spray of confusion that you did. You're trying to serve too many masters. You're trying to please your children and please your husband and please your mother. You're trying to get it right with all of them. You know what? There's too many chairs in the room. <laughs> You're not going to be able to please them all. You've got to figure out what source is saying about this, you see. You're doing really, really well under the conditions. But we want you to leave the conditions aside and see how easy it is to do really, 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 really well. You're asking with such power. Your vortex is ripe with opportunity. It's just going to take a little bit of settling down, being easy on yourself, be nicer to you. Be nicer to you. Get off by yourself a little bit. Take some time for you and listen for the impulse. An easy way to hear this, we've been saying this to parents for a long time. Talk to your children as much as you can, but never unless you're in a really good mood. Mm -hmm. Talk to your children as much as you can, but never unless you're in a really good mood. Mm -hmm. Well, that sort of says it all, doesn't it? You get tuned in so that what's flowing through you is the perspective that source has about them and the perspective that their inner being has about them. And when you start talking, from source's point of view, which is intertwined with their own inner being, they will feel the resonance of it and they will know that no matter what, 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 you stand in absolute unconditional love of them and it will soothe them in a way that we cannot even begin to describe. And anybody that's behaving like that is somebody who's not feeling so much that way. And don't feel bad about it. A lot of kids aren't because there's so many parents that have lost their connection with what matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, really good. Yeah, thank you.